welcome back to my channel today. I have a very exciting project and so I thought I would take you along with me because it's a new endeavor for me. It can be a new endeavor for you. Today I'm going to be painting this old piano. This was given to us. I have had it in several different rooms of my house. I never felt like I could properly incorporate it into the decor and so today I'm going to be painting it. I'm going to be using Annie Sloan chalk paint and I can't decide whether I want to do Chateau Grey which has a little bit of green in it or if I want to do Country Grey which has a little bit of taupe in it. So I think I'm going to do a swatch of each and put it on Instagram and see what you guys think. So if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you're following me so you don't miss stuff like this. So the reason why I'm choosing to use the Annie Sloan chalk paint is because you don't have to prep the surface. Otherwise, I would have to be sanding down the piano and priming it and painting it and not having to do that sounded good. I've looked at lots of different stuff on Pinterest and lots of people have had success with the Annie Sloan chalk paint. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do. The first thing I'm gonna do is move this bad boy away from the wall so that I have some room to paint around. I'm also going to be using a special paintbrush which is specifically for chalk paint. It's a really dense brush with long bristles but they're very soft. And so that's the tool I'm gonna to be using. I'm guessing it's probably gonna take three coats. I may go ahead and tape off certain areas, like the keys, to make sure that they don't get paint on them. But I'm also gonna have a wet rag with me so that if I get paint where I shouldn't, I can easily wipe it off. Let's get to painting. Bippity boppity boo. While I'm waiting for you guys to decide on Instagram, I'm gonna go ahead and give this a wipe down with a microfiber cloth to get all the dust off. So I'm all prepped and ready, and based on your votes over on Instagram, I think we're gonna go with the taupe color. I do love the green, but I kind of agree. I think I'm gonna use the green in a smaller piece. When I'm thinking long-term with decor, the taupe is a little bit more neutral, and I'll save that beautiful green for another piece in the future. So I think my game plan is to paint the outside of the piano first in all the coats it takes and get all into the nooks and crannies on the outside and then I'm gonna open it up where the keys are and lift the top up and paint the inside. I think that's probably my best plan of action. But really, I don't know what I'm doing, so we'll see. I was planning on taking the paint straight from the can, but now that I kind of get a sense of the pace of the project, which is quite slow, which actually is nice uh, to slow down and really take my time with something, I think I'm actually going to pour it into a little paint tray that I've covered with a plastic bag. That way I can just pour little bits at a time and I don't have to worry about the paint drying out in the can. It's really nice to be doing slow work like this because I tend to be someone who gets excited for new projects and then I can sometimes rush because I just want to see it done and so I'm really kind of enjoying really taking my time doing thin coats realizing that it's going to take multiple coats my tendency would be to do fewer coats and lay them on thicker but I really want this to be a quality piece and so I'm actually having fun taking a long time
Okay, well, there goes the first coat of paint. All in all, I found there were certain parts of the piano that seemed to kind of suck up the paint more than other parts of the piano. And I don't know if it was the paintbrush or the paint or the piano, but I found certain areas kind of stuck a little bit more and certain areas soaked up more paint. All in all, the paintbrush, I had to really kind of work with it. You see it's quite streaky, so I'm hoping that the second and third coat will go on more smooth because I don't really want kind of that shabby chic antiqued look. I do want it to look Smooth. We'll just have to see. than the first coat, I think because it had something to grip to, uh, both in coverage, hiding paint strokes and that kind of thing, um, and like disbursement of the paint, it went on really, really easy. So um, I'm really excited because I think the third coat's really gonna finish it off nicely. So I think I'm gonna take some break for dinner and getting the kids bathed and uh, in bed and stuff, and then I'll probably continue this into the late hours. Hey, day two, I left it overnight. And it looks fantastic this morning. Any little brush marks have kind of faded and it looks really smooth and great. There's a few little areas that I want to touch up today. And then I'm also gonna be painting the inside, which I think is when the real work will start, will start because painting around those piano keys, I think is gonna be a bit of a task. So yeah, I'm gonna do a couple little touch up areas and then get going on the inside. have to be your biggest fan and when things are really tough and they're really rough and nothing's working but there's something inside of you that says I just have to follow that because you don't know who you're gonna be who you're gonna be who you're gonna be <laughs> Because you don't know who you're going to be. Who you're going to be. 
paint need to come up and down for me to be able to properly paint them. I think I'm actually not going to tape them. I think I'm just gonna individually push them down and paint behind them. I actually think that's the best way to approach this. And then I'll have to just go in with a cloth and wipe it if I get any paint on it. I might tape the front, but I think for the black keys in the back, it's easier if I just push them down. All my painting is done. I'm so excited to share the finished results with you guys. The last step is to apply two coats of this chalk wax, chalk paint wax. And so the instructions say to just apply it uh, with a brush in small areas and then work it in with a cloth. So that's what I'm gonna do. We'll see whether I like the cloth. I have a hankering just based on the consistency that I'm gonna prefer to rub it in with the cloth from the can, but we'll see how we go. I was also thinking a lot of the brassware with this piano is actually in really good condition and I think adds to some of the charm of the piano, but the pedals on this piano definitely could use some love. They've definitely seen their share of wear and tear and so I'm thinking of giving them a coat of a light sanding and then I may go ahead and spray them down with some spray paint that I have in the basement just to really finish off this look. So I'm gonna do all of that and then I will style it and show you guys the final reveal. today's video I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up I'm really enjoying 
doing DIYs on this channel. It's something I'm fairly new to, upcycling and DIYing, but I really like the idea of kind of sourcing things that I already own around my house and breathing life back into them. So I hope you guys are enjoying them too. If you are, make sure that you subscribe to my channel. It's not all home decor makeovers. We are also gonna talk about self-improvement and self-empowerment and minimalism and capsule wardrobes and all kinds of fun stuff. So make sure that you hit subscribe so you don't miss any of those videos. Let me know what you think of the transformation in the comments below and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.